Hey my friend, Carolina Millan here. Welcome to a new episode of Driving with Carolina. And before we proceed to today's episode, if you're new here, I want to invite you right now to hit the subscribe button and tap the notifications bell so you never miss a single video from me because I am uploading videos constantly. And of course, I would love for you to be a member of the Hustle family. I'm an entrepreneur from Chile, in case this is the first video you ever watched from me. And right now I'm on my way to uh, visit a friend because it's her birthday. And in today's episode, I want to talk to you about belief and mindset for success. So stay tuned. Welcome back. I'm glad you stayed for the video. Belief. Um, I want to talk about belief and mindset because I last month I had my first ever six-figure month in my business. My first hundred thousand dollar month. It was actually like a hundred and twenty thousand or so, combining my affiliate marketing business and my coaching business and everything that I knew. I made six figures in a single month. It was really exciting. It was really awesome to hit that milestone for me after all these years, for me being an entrepreneur from South America. That means a lot. And it's not just because it's a lot of money, but because of what it represents. And for me, it represents a lot of things. It's been an evolution for me. And I want to share with you what it took, not just from a marketing perspective, but I'm going to make another video uh, where I'm going to share with you exactly how I did it from a marketing and sales perspective. But in this video, what I want to share with you is the mindset and belief that I had to have to make it happen. February, February was another really good month for me in business. And I did, I did about $70,000 in February. And I thought to myself, wow, I had never done uh, 70,000. I mean, I had done 70,000 in the past, but I mean, more than 70,000. Uh, my best month had been 84,000 or something. Uh, but the profit was not that big because it was when I was selling one of my masterminds. In 2017, I sold one of my masterminds. Uh, it sold out, uh, but I had a lot of expenses and I had to pay another trainer that was helping me with the mastermind and so on. So it was like, yeah, I made 80 grand, but I didn't get to keep that much. But now in February, I got to keep a lot of the, the 70 grand. I got to keep about, um, I think I kept probably 55 grand or so. My expenses must have been close to 15K. So it was awesome. It felt really good. And I thought to myself, what if I could make a hundred grand next month what would it take what do I have to believe and I want you to ask yourself the same question what do I have to believe for this to happen first of all you have to believe that it's possible that you can do it, that it's actually possible how do I know it's possible to make a hundred grand how do you know it's possible to make a hundred grand on your business especially your online business simple find examples of other people making a hundred grand and trust me you will find tons of them if people would understand that other people have done it before so that's number one way for you to believe something is possible is if you haven't done it before okay let's see if someone else has done it before and trust me when it comes to building businesses uh, there are people who have done billions and billions and billions so making six figures in a month okay it, 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 it's been done somebody must have done it right so how did they do it okay what did they do to accomplish that goal that you want to achieve okay and the, the hundred grand in a month is just an example uh, it could be anything so it's possible second belief you have to believe that it is out there for you not only that it's possible for other people but that it's possible for you and how do you know it's possible for you? You have to look inside yourself and really understand that you need to push yourself beyond your limits, beyond those limits that you yourself decided to create. Because my friend, you are limitless. 
you are and I'm not you know I'm not just saying this you have so much untapped potential okay and for the most part the only reason you're not achieving your full potential is because you are stopping yourself it's not the government it's not your spouse it's not other people whether you allow them to stop you that's a totally different story okay so you have to believe it's possible and you have to believe that it's possible for you that the treasure is out there the third belief my friend the third mindset you need is to believe that you will achieve it that you will find the treasure that no matter how long it takes you you will find it with patience perseverance it's out there it's possible I will find it I'm going into a tunnel now so it's gonna be a little bit darker so if you believe all of these things let's turn on the light can you see me better now hopefully uh, so if you have those beliefs the next thing my friend the next thing is worrying about the strategy you're gonna follow you need to focus on your mindset you need to focus on having the right belief system and you need to focus on being in a peak state of self peak state of mind you know it's, it's something Tony Robbins talks about and uh, one of the things I love the most about attending a seminar with Tony is that he really 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 gets us in that peak state and then I realized that oh my god in this amazing state I can do anything like if I set my mind around something if I set my mind to it I can really achieve anything if I'm in the right state if I'm in the right state physically mentally spiritually here's what most of you guys get wrong instead of working on your belief instead of working on you know understanding yourself instead of focusing on self-awareness and setting goals that you believe in that you want that make you hungry that make you excited a lot of people start with the how they go straight to all right give me the recipe give me the strategy give me you know tell me how to get a hundred thousand Instagram followers uh, all right how do I make a hundred thousand a month give me the how the how the how there's a reason why so many people are given the same strategy but they achieve completely different results that difference is in your psychology it's not all about the strategy it's not all about the method it's not all about the recipe and I give you I will give you the recipe I give it to my clients all the time I put the recipe on a lot of my YouTube videos that you can watch freely. If you want to take cooking classes with me directly, <laughs> success cooking uh, classes with me directly and work one-on-one -on -one with me, I'll give you all of that. But your belief, your internal, your, your motivation to succeed, I cannot give you that. I can inspire you and I hope I'm doing that with this video and all the content that I put out there because that's why I do it. But the internal motivation, the belief, you have to work on it and I've just given you a step-by-step -step system that you can follow whenever you want to set a new goal ask yourself the right questions look at the facts look at some data look at what's out there look at what other people are doing model them etc etc but first work on yourself and you know that, that that's one thing that people get wrong they go with the strategy first instead of working on themselves the other thing that people get wrong many times, especially in the digital marketing and digital business world, is they chase numbers. They're chasing the money. And sometimes that may work for a little bit, but it's not, gonna, it's not going to make you happy. Money is not going to make you happy. And we all fall for that trap. We all believe at one time or at one point or another that if we had this much money, we would be happy. Because all of our problems would be gone and yes a lot of problems can be solved with money but not happiness happiness comes from so much more and it comes from being content with who you are and what you do and how you do it and even when you do it when you live your life on your own agenda my god that's gonna make you insanely happy insanely happy and when you realize that you can help others achieve the same goal, the same dream that you have, that's a whole other level of happiness. 
when you're able to take care of your family and then it's not just your family and friends but the world you know that's where I'm at right now I'm trying to figure out how I can take care of you how I can give you more value and at the same time continue to increase my value to the world so I can of course make more money but reach more people help more people change more lives legacy now legacy is important but don't start with legacy you, you have to start with yourself you have to start with your self-awareness you have to start with your why why are you doing this you now read Simon Sinek's um, book start with why my friend I want to leave you with this last thought do you know why on airplanes they tell you to put your own oxygen mask first because if you are not well there's no way you're going to help anyone else if you don't work on yourself first and take care of yourself first you are useless for everybody else so if you really want to make an impact before you focus on oh my god what's going to be my legacy please focus on you make sure you are happy you are taken care of and then just expand boom an atomic bomb of love thank you so much for watching or listening to this episode if you're watching this on YouTube be sure to give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment tell me what you thought of, about this and share with me share with me what is that big dream that you have and what is your belief and if you still don't believe in yourself tell me what you're going to do to work on that because it's incredibly important and of course if you're not yet subscribed be sure to hit the subscribe button tap the notifications bell and if by chance you're listening to this on my podcast please be sure to subscribe and share spread the love thank you so much carolina here and i'll see you on the next episode